Hello friends, my name is Pranay and in this Apache OIB based video tutorial, I am going to give you an overview of uh, OIB based directory structure. So let's take a look. When you download Apache OIB based, in my case, I have downloaded OIB 16.11, uh, that is a release of OIB based. And here you can see some directories underneath applications framework hot deploy spatial purpose themes and some definitely other directories are also there but as of now let's focus on the primary root uh, primary structure of these directories so underneath applications directory what you are going to get is all those business applications the generic business processes which are already implemented in OIBase and which are called out of the box implemented business processes so you get the business processes along with the complete database schema designed along with the component so we have accounting content human resource manufacturing marketing order party product so all these business processes are going to help you achieve those 80 percent of the requirements that you have because all these are the generic uh, business processes which can be a model as per the custom requirements from any of the organization and then we have framework so framework is the core basically uh, all the underlying components are going to serve you for building all those business applications which are there in the application directory and at the same time whichever is the application that you will be building that can be a custom extension to any of the applications component or it can be your own component that you are building top of Apache or base. So all the underneath uh, details, uh, the detailed implementation, the core implementation is going to be provided by OIBase from all these components like Entity Engine is there, Service Engine is there, and then you have Event Handlers already implemented there, Web Web, and, uh, web, web Handling is done there. So all the uh, basic uh, components I would say the core components are going to be there in the framework directory and then uh, you have the hot deploy directory which is kind of hot as of now because uh, if you'll be f if you are following the user mailing list you'll find that uh, there is an ongoing discussion going on to keep it or not so as of now when you start building your own component it is going to be considered as a plugin and it is going to be plugged here in the spatial purpose directory so uh, Earlier we used to implement any of the custom extensions or custom implementation in the hot deploy directory but the current practice uh, that is uh, being followed in OIBase is to have your own component as a plugin deployed in a special purpose directory. Uh, in upcoming videos I will be showing you how to create your own component or I would say uh, your own plugin but uh, the special purpose uh, directory is going to have the special purpose business applications which are basically the extensions to the core application stake here that we have or uh, some integrations are there uh, like uh, shipping integration payment integrations or ebay integration uh, or you, you can say project manager scrum solar web pos uh, and all the other things which are not not the part of the core uh, application stake that we have in oibase so all these things are there in the special purpose directory and that is the reason uh, when you build your own component you do customizations or extensions so OIBase are going to be placed in special purpose directory then you have themes themes are again uh, it's a component driven architecture so each of the theme that has been designed for uh, backend applications is designed as a component here in OIBase so all these themes are component you will find OIBase component XML file underneath every theme is being deployed as a component it has its own configuration data so all these are themes basically to design the screens in OIPIS the backend application themes and then you have some tools here in the tools directory and then some uh, files are there in the root directory to serve OIPIS so this was a very quick introduction to OIPIS directory structure and if you go back and if you look at any of the component in OIPIS as I said a component is nothing but a directory uh, which actually gives you all the resources which are required for the applications or the business applications which are going to be deployed through that particular component. 
so this is the structure of a component if you look at for example order you'll find all these directories underneath you can see that all the directories are having a special purpose like configuration related files are going to be there in this config directory and then any of the data that you create for order is going to be placed here any of the supporting documents you want to put emails entity definitions any of the tables in the database that you want to define which are defined in xml and those are placed in entity dev directory scripts groovy scripts specifically can be placed here mini lang xml of uh, XML implementation or mini lang implementations goes there. You have service definitions. You have SRC where all the Java implementation is going to be there for services and events. Templates, any of the templates, any of the test suites you have defined, and then web apps where you can have multiple web apps under uh, under a particular component. So you can have multiple web apps for one component. Here we have one component, one web application. And then you have widget where you actually define screens, forms, uh, and menus basically. And then OIBIS component XML file that is actually the descriptor for this particular component. And it tells the component that these are the resources which are required uh, required by it when, it when it's being loaded by OIBIS. So this is how it is done. We'll be talking uh, about all these things in more detail in upcoming videos. So that's it for this video. And thanks for watching.